welcome back to my channel. For today's makeup look, I am testing out the new Natasha Denona Love Collection. We have the eyeshadow palette and the cheek palette. I'm super excited for you guys to see this because I love how fun this turned out. I'm so into like pink vibes lately. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Today for foundation, I'm going to actually just mix my Tom Ford foundation stick. I'm the shade 6.5 Sable, and then I'm going to mix the Armani Luminous Silk in 6.5 as well. So what I like to do is just take the stick, and I swipe this all over. And after this, we're just going to blend it out with the Armani Luminous Silk. So we're going to get good coverage, but still be super luminous and super dewy my face is super pale right now because i'm gonna be doing another round of micro needling and a chemical peel and i can't have any self tanner or anything so here we are so don't judge so we take the armani luminous silk and we just put this on our beauty blender and we'll just blend everything out I feel like I haven't filmed in so long and I'm only like a few days late filming because I injured my back in like 2012 really really bad doing CrossFit. I was doing like a kettlebell swing and somehow like I like, I don't know what I did but I have two herniated discs in my lower back. Pretty much once a month it likes to just you know fail me and go out. So for my husband's birthday we went to Santa Barbara and we just stayed like one night. So when he was sleeping, I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym. You know, I'm going to like get a little workout in. And I didn't hurt myself during the workout. I was done with the workout and I was going to go to the sauna. And I was being greedy and I was like, oh, let me get another water bottle from the fridge. Because like we were staying at the Ritz. So, you know, like let me get all the free stuff. So I went to get a uh, cold water and the cold. And then, oh, I went to go get a cold water bottle. And then I saw... But they had like the cold, like wet towels. Like um, if you go to Equinox, the gym, they have wet towels. Then they roll them up and then they put them in the fridge so they're cold. So I was like, oh, let me get that too. I bent over and I never came back up. <laughs> okay. It was like I was 80 on the Life Alert commercial. So I normally film on Mondays. But since I did this on Sunday and I couldn't really walk, um, I had to go like to the chiropractor I don't know I got like acupuncture and cupping we have to do a video on that because it's life-changing so here I am Thursday and I'm like damn near back to normal thank you so here I am on Thursday filming instead of Monday it just feels like I haven't filmed in weeks I guess because it's been a week and a half this is our um, Too Faced Born This Way in Light Beige but I feel like I'm a mess right now like I'm really trying to get my life together I think I told you guys that I started esthetician school so that I could have my license to do lash extensions in a business. This is my Fenty sponge. My schedule has been a lot crazier. So the last four years I haven't had to go to like a job like I work at home. So before I did my YouTube I helped my husband run his business. So like you know I haven't like had to like have a commitment to be somewhere. So I don't know. I think I adjusted pretty well. I don't mind going, but now my schedule is just different. So I'm there Tuesday through Friday, and then on Mondays is when I film all my videos for the week. So if you don't know, I post three videos a week here on YouTube on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays right now. So typically I film all three videos in one day. So it kind of is like super time consuming, but I really, really enjoy it. Our face is looking so good. I don't know why my lash extensions are like not lasting for me. Pretty much after like a week, they just start looking super wonky and like, I don't know, like empty and stuff. I'm going to set my under eyes with my MAC Studio Fix in N4 per usual. I want to switch up like my entire makeup routine. I just need a day. I want to go makeup shopping at like a million different stores. I want to get like new setting powders, new bronzers, new everything. I kind of feel like I'm like changing. But in a good way, like, I feel like I'm making all the changes that I've been wanting to make for so long. I can feel the shift happening. It's kind of like almost that tipping point. But at the same time, it's like super chaotic because I'm making so many different changes that I'm not used to it. But it's like I'm almost, almost there. And my last little, like, missing piece 
is literally just like my health and fitness. I'm gonna set my face with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder. This is in the shade Carrots. This is like the airbrushing luminous nice powder that you can just put all over or you can use it as a subtle highlighter. I wanna talk about like my fitness journey, health journey, weight loss journey, all that, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna talk about that in like a specific video. But my issue is like with my back injury, for whatever reason, it's like every time I'm on a roll, every time I'm like working out, I'm losing weight, I'm eating healthy, then I get injured. And I don't know, I mean, it's like from lifting weights, but it's because the two little discs are like protruding. And then what happens is like they'll sit on the nerve and then you can't walk. <laughs> so basically, I'm just like trying to get past that and I'm trying to like rehab and I need to start doing stretches and then basically I'm just going to find every kind of workout in the world that I can do with that injury and there's not going to be any excuses I'm going to do everything in my power so I already kind of like have a plan you guys will see because I've been vlogging but I'm going to do I think hot pilates on Saturdays and Sundays which that is like doing pilates in 95 degrees I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Floss Finish Powder in the shade 2 to just go over this. You're doing Pilates in like 95 degrees and it's kind of like doing hot yoga but you're toning. So I'm going to do that on Saturdays and Sundays. And then during the week I'm just going to do an incline treadmill workout. I actually found this workout because my sister sent it to me. It's someone here on YouTube. Her name is Lauren Geraldo, I believe her last name is. And she does this thing called... 12 330 and you put the treadmill at a 12% incline and you do a speed three for 30 minutes and it's just like really good incline walking to lose weight so I'm gonna do that like Monday through Friday and then I'm gonna add in some soul cycle classes at night and then do hot Pilates on the weekends and I'm gonna be like doing my fasting raw vegan like you guys will see all of it in the vlog trying to do my best here ooh what if I cut my hair short again like a little my head's too big for that right now. Okay, so our face is set. Let's do our bronzer. Our MAC Give Me Sun, like always. Our same Morphe Jaclyn Hill bronzing brush. And I just want to warm up the face. Then we're going to take our Hula by Benefit with our Smashbox slanted brush. I was watching Makeup Shayla's um, YouTube videos. I honestly love her so, so, so much. I love her tutorials. I love the way she does makeup. And she was like showing her new face routine. She, I guess, just like changed everything that she was doing. And I loved how it looked. So I kind of want to like copy it and do my face like her. Her foundation and her whole face was just like super snatched, super flawless. And she started skipping like cream contour. So I just want to try today with just powders. Her fitness journey is also super inspiring. If you guys haven't seen her videos, go check it out i'm gonna use a little fluffy brush with the same hula and i'm just gonna go down my nose a little bit i also want to try jacqueline hill's nose contour technique she like takes that little uh i don't know what it's called it looks like a toothbrush those makeup brushes i think they're called artiste and she takes that and she does her nose contour with that and then she takes her mini fan brush and then blends it out and it looks super super good so i kind of want to try that too I don't know, I just get bored of doing makeup the same, and like, I just want to start trying new things, using new products, like, I'm not trying to do the same thing in every video. You guys will get bored, I'll get bored, like, I just want to switch it up. Just taking my powder I set my under eyes with, with this little stiff brush, and then I like to just stamp here. It just contours the nose even more. Okay, for the fun part, we're going to take our new cheek palette from Natasha Denona. This is the Love Glow Cheek Palette. I mean like look at this oh, so cute so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna open up the cream section and I want to take this coral cream right here and I'm gonna just put that on my cheek area as like a little base for the blush I'm gonna take this cute morphe brush I kind of love this for cream products this is the morphe e8 this is perfect just to like apply small areas so I'll just smile oh this is so pretty and it gives you such a healthy, luminous glow. Wow, this is so cute. I normally hate cream products on my face, like as far as blushes and stuff. But I love this. You just want to work with one side at a time so it doesn't dry. Wow. 
This is super cute. See, it's just like so soft and luminous. And you don't even need a lot. You can start with a little and then apply more as needed, but this is so cute. And if you apply your blush a little higher, your cheekbones will look higher and it'll make your face look more slim. I'm just kind of like sculpting out my cheek. I'm focusing this on the apples and then just going up along the cheekbone. Then what I'm gonna do is take my bigger Morphe brush and I'm gonna take the smallest amount of this shade next to it. This one is the Super Glow because I don't want my cheeks to be like super, super shimmery because it'll bring out my large pores. So I'm just gonna tap off a little bit and just set this. It's kind of like, is your blush and highlight in one? It just depends how glowy you wanna be. I'm gonna take the highlight here, it's the Glow Impact Powder. I'm gonna take my Morphe brush and just take the smallest amount and do this right up here. A little here. Is this doing anything? This looks fake in the pan, what's wrong with this thing? Girl, this is expensive to not be working. Is this fake? Oh, here's a little bit. Maybe it works better with my finger. Look how glowy we are. I'm gonna go over this with my MAC Floor Power Blush. I just want this to be like a little matte here so it can like calm these little pores, you know? So I'm gonna take my MAC Blush Brush, the smallest amount, just like a little tap, and then I'm just gonna sweep that back. Now that we have all this, I'm just gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury powder, and I'm gonna take my little Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the J01, I believe, yes. And I'm gonna just put some of the airbrush powder on this, and I'm just gonna tap over this so that everything looks super blended and like not so clownish. Now I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Today for brows, I'm gonna try something different. So since I ran out of my Anastasia Soft Brown Brow Definer, which was like a pencil, I wanna try the Soft Brown in the Dip Brow, which is like a little brow pomade. This is gonna give you a more dramatic brow look. If you want a more natural brow, you can use powders to fill it in. And then if you want something like in between, you can use the little brow pencils, or if you have sparse brows, you can use the pomade or the brow pencil. So I'm just gonna take my MAC Slanted Brush. This is the 263, and take a little bit out of the Dip Brow Pot. And I'm going to start on the bottom, make a straight line across. It blends in like super easy. I believe this one is also like water resistant and stays on all day. I need to get my brows done so they're looking like a little thicker. It's okay though, but I just don't want it to be like too heavy. So then once you have the bottom done, then you come to the top and outline it. Then I just go to the front, and I just make like little hair-like strokes. And then I kind of just like push it up to the side. And then I'll just run it through if there's any like little gaps. Take my brow brush and I just kind of blend this, so I'll just brush it all up. See, so it's like super filled in, but it's still kind of like on the natural side. You can still see some like little skin through it. It makes my brow a little more rounded the way I filled it in, but I don't mind it at all. So I'm gonna do my other brow and I'll be right back. I'm trying to decide if I like this better than the brow pencil I normally use by Anastasia and I pretty much think that I like the brow definer better. It just works better for my thicker brows and it's also a lot quicker, but I might give this a try another time. To set, I'm gonna do my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This is like so, so good, I love this. If you guys get anything from Benefit, get the brow gel or any of the brow products for that matter. And you have to get Hoola and you have to get Cookie Highlighter. Also, if you like primers, the professional primer is amazing. If you guys didn't know, I used to work at Benefit. And that's when the professional came out and I used to use it every single day. Okay, now our face is done. The best part, we get to use our new eyeshadow palette. So this is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. It's like a nice hard plastic. And then it has a huge mirror the size of my hand. And the colors, like... They're just unreal. I'm not even sure which colors I wanna use because they're all just, I don't know, amazing. I was thinking of doing like pink and purple. So let's just jump into it and then we'll figure it out as we're going. I'm first gonna start with my MAC Fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Soul, which is here in the bottom corner. And I'm gonna kinda use that as my transition shade. Make sure with these eyeshadows that you tap it off. They are super pigmented, but sometimes they have a lot of fallout. And by fallout, I don't mean on your face, I just kind of mean like the shadows are really powdery 
and they'll get powdery on your brush. This looked a lot lighter in the pan, but this is almost coming out like a little magenta. Once you blend it, if you have this fluffy brush, it blends to like a sheer wash of color for the transition shade. So you can just keep adding more if you want it to be more vibrant or just use a more dense brush. This is our one shade. I've been noticing a lot of people on YouTube lately have been doing like pink eyeshadow looks and I'm super here for it. I just think it's so fun. So then after we did Soul in the crease, I think I want to darken it up. I'm going to use the shade Heartbeat. And I'm going to use a smaller, more stiffer brush. This is my MAC 217. And I'm going to just focus this on the outer corner. This has more red tone than the last one. The one we used in our crease had more of like a purple undertone. But I'm just going to stamp this first on the outer corner. You're just like pressing it in. And then I'm going to just put it in the crease and blend it. This reminds me a lot of some of the pinks and purples in the new Jaclyn Hill palette. I really want to buy that. It came out today. So I think I'm going to go either tonight if I have time or tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, you guys. Most people are like so anti-Valentine's Day these days. It's super funny. Leave me a comment down below if you did anything for Valentine's Day. I never used to do colors on my eyes. I would always just do like bronze, browns, neutrals, like anything in the brown family. Maybe some blacks and navies occasionally. But recently I've been doing like blues, greens, pinks, purples. So what I want to do is I'm going to go in with the shade Giving, which is this sparkle shade here. And I'm going to do this on the lid. I'm going to use my finger because I think it's going to go on a lot better. This is so pretty. It's like the perfect pink purple glitter. I'm just going to blend that in. Just like this whole front half and then just blend it. Then I'm going to take the shade Lifetime and just do that right on top. This is more of like a champagne color. So it gives like more of a yellow tone when you mix it. I'm going to take that same shade Heartbeat that we did on the outer corner. And I'm now just going to go over it so that the end is just like super dark and dramatic. You just want to like blend the two together. Don't get mad, but I'm going to still take my highlighter by Benefit called Cookie. And do my inner corner just because it's just the perfect shade. And then other shades, if you blend it, they'll like make a weird color. This one just stays its original color. And I just like that light highlight in the inner corner. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm completely done, but let's do the bottom shadow first, and then we'll see it all come together. I'm going to take my little fluffy brush, and I'm going to just use the first shade we did in our crease, tap it off, and then just go right underneath. I had to keep this, like, right on the lash line, just, like, where you can feel the bottom of your eyeball. This is so fun. I'm literally not going anywhere, but I'm going to look fly with this makeup. Oh, maybe I can make it to Morphe in time get my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to take this little flat Morphe brush and use the shade Heartbeat that we used second in our crease. And I'm going to do this right to the lash line. Like you would an eyeliner. Just go over this with a brush. Wait, I missed this shade here. It's called Pure Love. It's like this lavender. And I'm trying to think if I want to put a little bit. Let's just try a little bit here on the outside. That's so pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to do like a little bit of a thicker black liner. My eyelashes are like super wonky, so I wanted to put mascara on them and we'll just see how they look. This one is so much like less than this one, but whatever. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. I'm just going to take this purple eyeliner from MAC. This is called... Permaplum, I'm going to do this just on the bottom. So this just gives it like a little bit of a pop. Okay, let's just finish up the eye with some mascara. Okay, we just have our lips and then we're all finished. So for the lips, I want to keep it kind of like neutral but a pink tone at the same time. This is like a super dramatic eye so we don't want the lip to take away from it but I am going to do a pink tone. So what I want to do is use my Makeup Forever lip liner. This is called Wherever Walnut and it's basically like the shade of your lips. I'm first going to use the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncuffed. This is one that's pretty much matching this lip liner. It's just like a neutral pink tone. 
I'm gonna make this more nude, so I'm gonna go over this with Unbutton from Fenty as well. This is like my perfect lip combo, but this one I wanna nude up a little more because I don't want the lips to clash with the eye. Then I just blend with my finger. I'm gonna add a little bit more to make it more nude. And then lastly, we're gonna take our Fenty Gloss. You already know, the shade's Fussy. It's the best gloss ever. And it's pink tone. It looks pretty clear, but it gives a little pink sheen. Makes your lips look so pouty. And lastly, this is a lot, but whatever. This is my Dose Gloss, it's called The Most. This is the Desi X Katie collab. And this has like kind of like purplish blue flecks in it. And I think it's gonna go perfect with the shade on the eye. So I just wanna add a little of this to the center. You won't be able to tell like a lot, but I will. This is so cute. I love how this turned out. I hope that you guys love this too. Leave me a comment down below if you plan to pick up the new Natasha Denona collection or if you like this look. Please subscribe before you leave and like the video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching.